What's up everyone, welcome to another Foxtech tutorial. This time we have the iPad in front of us and as you can see, it tells me that this connection is not private. So what you can do in the case where you can see like things like this in your Safari, when you open up some kind of website, you fire it up and you get this thing. Well, this is an option which shows up to you when there is something going on with the certificate of that specific website that you're actually going to visit. So in case you want to fix it, the first thing to look at is actually if you want to fix it, because this is a security feature which prevents you from going to and visiting some potentially malicious websites. So in case they don't have their certificate updated and if it's not valid, then something is probably going on wrong with that website. So perhaps you don't even want to visit it in case it's some link that you don't even have any idea about. If it's not a known website or something that you are sure that you want to visit, perhaps don't even do it. Like perhaps you don't even lose anything by just closing the tab and just moving on. But in case you want to fix it, the first option is of course to view the certificate and see if anything changes by that. But you can also just tap on visit this website. And when you do that, you actually get through the security notification and you can actually visit the website normally, but you risk the threat of going to an unsafe website, which could harm you theoretically in the wrong long run. So by the way, guys, if you want to know everything about your iPhone apps, you have to click the link down below in the description. It's a 100% free education platform where I publish like video editing courses. There is going to be the all apps explained course, which is coming up. It's going to explain every single app on your iPhone. It's going to be really cool. So go ahead and check out that link. It's free to access. So yeah, go ahead and do that right now. You don't really know what's happening, but if you are hundred percent sure that you know what you're doing, that you're visiting a website, which is working properly, you can also do some things to make sure that this does not appear. As I said, at first, you can always just click the visit website and go through it in case you want to. But if this doesn't work or something else is going on, you can also just ensure that you're not connected to any VPN because this could potentially cause the problem as well because some websites may not be accessed from one location or the other. So try it out to see if it works with or without VPN, but also make sure that you have the correct date and time. Because if you go to the settings, tap on general date and time. And if you don't have the time set automatically, then this could potentially be a problem because some websites may see that there is a discrepancy between the, the, the time on the, this device and the time that is actually the uh, real time. And in that case, it may show you that the certificate is not valid, not because it's really invalid on that website, but because your time is like in the past and it just doesn't work that way. It just shows you this pop-up. So make sure that you set the time to automatically so you don't have to worry about it again or just set it by yourself if you want to. But just make sure that you have the correct time set. By the way, there are also some other things which you can do. You can also just go to the Safari section in the settings and you can always just clear history and website data for some kind of reset of Safari. This helps a lot in case you you have some kind of problem which is occurring repeatedly this could help as well you can also just reset the network settings if you really wanted to or if you feel that something is going on with the connection itself not really the safari as a whole so you can do that but i would also just recommend you to try it out to see if it works through a different web browser in case you have some things like chrome installed or any other web browser which you can download easily from the app store try firing up the very same URL, the very same website to see if anything changes just because you are on a different web browser. That would be a good idea to, to do. Like a lot of people use Google Chrome or Firefox, doesn't matter, just try to see if anything changes when you go through from a different place, from a different browser, so that, that could be it. Anyways, if you wanna update Safari, make sure to update the entire operating system, which is the iPad OS, get the latest one and a Safari is going to be updated by extension. So maybe you're going to find out that all of these things and changes are now good. Everything is fixed just because you updated. So you can see even iPad OS 17.0.2 iPad OS includes updates to Safari. So Safari is included here as well. Make sure to update and see if anything changes. 
Thanks a lot for watching. I hope this video has helped you out. If it did, make sure to leave a thumbs up. Subscribe down below so you don't miss the next videos where I'm going to teach you new things about your iPad, iPhone, and other devices, and this will solve your problem. So go ahead and do that. Thanks a lot for watching. See you guys later.